Bob's Girl by Joe Aiken. Some people choose their dogs, and some dogs choose their people. The Pengley family had no say in choosing a Bob. One summer day, Sandy was lying peacefully reading the comic, when a large body jumped onto her. It was a dog. Blob, a man shouted, running to acclaim him. Sandy and her siblings played with Blob the rest of the day. Everyone was upset when he left. The Blob lived in Liverpool, all the way on the other side of England. So they then went home. Suddenly, there was a loud crack in the kitchen windowsill. It was Blob. They called his owner and took Lob away. Eight days later, the same exact thing happened again. But they got to keep Lob. One night, Sandy was walking to her grandmother's house when she was hit by a truck. A doctor came and rescued her and took her to the hospital. Her grandmother rushed to the hospital and found Bob waiting there. She tried to get Bob inside, but it was against the rules. Eventually, though, she convinced them to allow Bob in for a little while. Suddenly, Sandy opened her eyes from being unconscious for hours. She whispered, Bob, good boy, and fell back to sleep. Bob ran down stairs. Bob, come back, Sandy's grandmother shouted. Then Sandy's parents came up and said and sat to him. Bob is dead. He was killed by the same truck as Sandy. We chained a piece of concrete to his body and threw him into the sea. Everyone then noticed is the wet footprints leading down the stairs. Sandy's family had a stone that says, Law buried at sea in their backyard.